Good morning. Today is Monday, April 27th, and we are enjoying the faith practice of praying daily. This is our daily devotional of Fort Hill Presbyterian Church. This week we are studying the fruits of the Spirit, and this week's fruit is love. And so today, a particular reflection came across my desk, which I thought was fitting. Um, Sarah Bessie is a writer from Canada, and um, she um, was sharing her faith journey of how she had been disheartened and decided that her New Year's resolution in 2020 was to remember to love the world again. So she has been reflecting on that, even as we live in a unprecedented experience of pandemic, where people are suffering grief and loss, where people are working exhausting hours and others feel isolated and alone and maybe a little despairing. And so she has learned in her situation with her big family and her need for introverted time alone to appreciate the little things, the gifts of God's grace that are right in front of her and to love in particular, not in general. And so she takes some time to uh, talk about all the little things that are gifts of God's grace. And when we recognize and notice those gifts, they um, help us feel a sense of gratitude and well-being and peace. And so listen to some of her list. And then I want you to think of your own. She writes, love the pencil crayons and markers always on the kitchen table. Love the curl of steam from the tea in the morning. Love the light in the late afternoon illuminating as holy the crumbs on the floor. Learn to love the schedules and routines that are emerging. Love the worn pages of a well-loved Bible and the laughter from a Parks and Rec episode. Love underlying, underlined poems and the sight of birds in the wind. Love the cold of starlight and the quiet of the streets. Love the donate button on the food bank website and the satisfying click of finding some small way to keep loving your neighbors. And she continues, love the sound of the words, I love you, I'm sorry, I forgive you, I choose you, I made coffee and it's ready. Love the bark of the big old tree you watch through every season of change. Love this moment of particular gra grace, not in spite of all the grief and loss surrounding us, but because of it. Love this because you know that Frederick Beekner was right. This is the world. Beautiful and terrible things will happen. Don't be afraid. Beautiful things are happening and terrible things are happening. They are both true. Do not be afraid. Know that God loves us and that we made in God's image are called to do the same. And take a moment today to notice the small ways that God's love is apparent in your world, whatever that world may be. Take time to appreciate to give thanks for the ways God loves us. Let us pray. Oh God, surround us with your love. Fill us with your peace. Unite us in the power of the Holy Spirit that no matter where we are, we know we are not alone, that we belong to Christ and that he walks with us, beside us, before us, behind us and around us and that we are loved and we are called to share that love we thank you for this gift of unimaginable grace in Christ's name we pray amen <laughs>